Hey folks, this is Carlos Delhunco at harmonicapractice.com uh, in another series of videos. Um, this particular one is about bending notes and articulation, the idea of two things. Uh, one is articulation and nailing a bent note when you want to hit it. And the other idea is, which I've never heard anyone talk about, it's just the idea of dynamics and control of dynamics. Um, and that sounds like this, whether it's a bent or an unbent note, understanding where the air comes from as you make a note louder or quieter is uber important. So for instance, on an unbent note, if I'm playing two draw, a lot of beginner players will tend to play too hard. Instead of just relaxing, opening your jaw and just getting a good tone but as a pucker player, And then playing it louder or quieter is just a matter of more airflow. So your your mouth and your embouchure are relaxed and holding this embouchure pattern or, or quality in your mouth. And it's no different when you bend a note. It's just again, you're once you understand the mechanics of bending a note. I'm bending hole number two draw. But again, I'm, once I'm holding that embouchure in place, it's a matter of understanding the airflow that you're bringing up from your lungs. Your, your diaphragm is maybe controlling it. Um, and notice how I just, I went right into that bent note very quietly. Um, or... So again, I'm, I, that embouchure, once I understand the mechanics of holding that shape in the embouchure, it's uber important to really hold that shape in your mouth. And all I'm doing is just bringing up less or more air up from my throat, from my chest. There's middle bend number three. And then the other thing um, is the idea of when you want to, a good way to practice getting from, let's say, an unbent note into a bent note, um, if you want to, you're playing a riff or a scale, whatever it is. But that, da, da. I'm giving a slight ta articulation to that middle bend number three to really, you really have to hear the pitch in your head. Mm, da, da. I'll sing the note first, golden rule, to hear it in your head. Oops. Mm, da, da. So a good way to just practice that, to be so to getting from an unbent note into right into a bent note is to just take the bent note, once you have it and you've been practicing with the, the transcribed pitch of that note on the keyboard, for instance, and you have the pitch in your head, um, then try just So I'm just da, 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 da. I'm just doing a slight a ta, it's just the, the, my, the tip of my tongue is kind of coming up and just giving the slightest articulation and it's not interfering with my embouchure that I'm holding in my mouth. I have to think about it because at first it didn't happen. You know, my pitch wasn't perfect there, but the, the point is, is that the idea of nailing the pitch, the more you do it, the more you, it just becomes easier. Do, do, do.
those are, these are little micro exercises you can do to really, whatever it is you're practicing, whether it's context of a riff or a scale, to do these things and be aware of it. So the ta-ta articulation and the idea of the airflow, because I mean, that's what makes anything musical uh, sound better is that sense of leaning in and out Of course, I'm doing stuff with vibrato and stuff, which was a whole other subject for another video. But you, you know, about <laughs> you know, that sense of leaning in and out of a note and working on these isolated things, what I was talking about earlier. is that sense of just bringing up more air from your, your chest, your diaphragm. You're holding your embouchure, whether it's a relaxed, unbent note or a bent note. That's, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, Carlos Del Hunco at harmonicapractice.com. See you uh, down the road.